Here are eight things that we want in FL Studio 21 for the FL Studio playlist and piano roll. So starting with the piano roll, I've already said plenty of times in the past that FL Studio's MIDI control is probably the best in the game, specifically when it comes to the piano roll, but there are some updates that I would like to see for the piano roll for sure. So the first thing, if I were to add a hi-hat pattern real quick, you'll notice this control area down at the bottom, Alt-R brings up the randomizer, and let's just randomize the velocities here. Besides saving the pattern, sometimes it would be cool to just be able to save the, the controls down here at the bottom. So if we could save the control information or the humanization information, I, I like to call it, and add that to a MIDI pattern, that'd be awesome. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of the groove and the swing can come from just your velocity settings. So if you have a certain type of velocity Maybe you have certain pannings, maybe little pitch changes. Sometimes you just want to add that information onto a MIDI loop that you already have. So it'd be really nice to be able to go to this drop down menu, go to file, and instead of save score as or export as a MIDI file, it'd be nice to be able to just export the MIDI control. Number two, so I know a lot of people use Grossbeat, but I feel like Grossbeat never gets used to its full potential. You'll notice that when you click this cog menu, you actually don't get the normal options that you usually would get. Normally when you go to a synth, you'll have this plugin and this cog icon and you could click and you could go down to this MIDI section and change the input and output port. That way when you add a MIDI out, you could actually control that instrument with this MIDI channel. So let me show you the advantage of that. Let me go ahead and load up one of my loops. This is from my InFlight Music 2020 drum pack. So you'll notice with Grossbeat, with these different patterns, I'm, actu I'm actually able to trigger different patterns with my keyboard. And that actually gives you a lot of control in terms of really glitching your sound and making it really unique. So there's a lot of potential with Grossbeat in terms of triggering this with MIDI. I know that you can trigger this with automation, but we all know how clunky the automation is inside of FL Studio. Sorry if you don't feel that way. That's just how I'm always going to feel about FL Studio's automation until it does get better. But it would just be much simpler to just add in your MIDI notes to a MIDI out. Just send this over to the piano roll. And to be able to just click in what pattern you want when you want it versus having to record everything that I just played into Edison or having to deal with automation and trying to draw in automation curves at the right level of each of these patterns. Speaking of MIDI notes and doing things a lot faster, I feel like this would be something that would be really beneficial to not just beginners, but even intermediates and advanced because it's just a lot cleaner and a lot faster to do things this way. When you go to this drop down menu, you'll have this section called helpers, scale highlighting, and you can click through any of these and it'll highlight whatever scale that you want. That's cool, that's awesome. It's a great feature to have in FL Studio, but it would be even better to collapse the piano roll down to where you don't even see these notes that you're not supposed to be hitting. Now, if you're making something like blues, jazz, neo soul, those other less modern genres of music, then it would make sense to still have access to notes that aren't in your scale, that aren't in your key. But almost 10 times out of 10, most people that are using FL Studio are really just sticking to the notes in the scale. So it would be really nice to be able to collapse all these down to where no matter where you click, you're only hitting the notes in the scale. That way you don't accidentally click a note outside of the scale. Number four, snap shortcuts. Now this applies to both the piano roll and the playlist. For example, I wanted to do a half beat hi-hat roll. I would just click that brush tool and drag this across. I know a lot of people will switch their hi-hats by doing separate rolls with Alt-U. That could trigger it. Also hitting Control-U will actually divide these up to whatever snap settings that you select here. So say we want six beats, click six beats, hit control U. Now we have six notes. However, you'll notice that I still have this paintbrush tool. If I wanted to drag, create more of these and just drag in a pattern myself, you'll notice that it's still dragging 
the half beat pattern. In order to change that to these notes, I would have to right click here. A lot of people don't realize this, but you could right click here and then choose six beat. And now I'm able to fill these in with actual six beat notes. So it's a two step process where not only do you left click to choose your quantize, but you have to right click to choose your note size. That's a lot of extra work. And I feel like that's why a lot of people do use these key controls where you highlight this, hit Alt U to bring up the chopper. However, I just feel like it would be a lot faster if we could just hit Control 1 or Control 2, Control 3 to just immediately switch from half notes to six notes to third notes, quarter notes, so on and so forth without having to click the quantize and click what note size that we want. That would bring a lot more functionality to our paintbrush tool here. And it would just be a lot faster to just draw these in just without having to use the chopper. Same deal with the playlist. It would just be really nice to have different snap settings, especially with people that work with audio where they're manipulating sample links all the time. It'd be really nice to just switch this on the fly with just keyboard commands. If you are looking for a quicker way to do this in the meantime, if you click the middle mouse button and the right mouse button, make sure you click the middle mouse button first because it doesn't work the other way around. You'll actually bring up that this menu right here and you could go to the snap settings and change them on the fly right here. So that's a little bit faster than having to go all the way up here and then choosing from down there. But overall, it would be much faster to just hit control three to get third notes or whatever. Number five, consolidating tracks versus freezing tracks. So there's a very specific reason why FL Studio calls this consolidating and not freezing. So for years, everyone's been asking FL Studio to finally get track freezing inside of FL Studio. And that just hasn't been the case. We still don't have it. That's really disappointing because they definitely had the technology to do it. And I'll show you the main difference right now. So here I have two loops. Now say we process these differently. Um, say I have a bunch of processing on here and a bunch of processing on here. The processing is killing my CPU. So I wanna convert these down to audio with the processing embedded in them. Basically what other DAWs would call track freezing. Well, people would tell you to go ahead and highlight your sample, hit control, alt and C, and that will consolidate the the loop, it will bake in all of your effects and audio processing into that file and it will unload those plugins from being used, from using up your computer CPU. So you hit start. Now you have a brand new audio file with all that information baked in, but we have a problem here because not only did it do all of that, but it combined these two audio files into one audio file. Well, you would have to do these one at a time. So you would have to hit Control Alt C for this one, that gets consolidated. Then you have to highlight this one, Control Alt C. Then you would finally get to your last one, Control Alt C. You could see how that's pretty annoying to do. So there needs to be a way to do actual track freezing where you just highlight the tracks that you wanna freeze and hit Control Alt F and that will freeze those tracks in place. Do the same exact thing, except instead of consolidating them down to one file, they just get bounced down in place as their own file. It's a huge time saver. It's a feature that we've been needing in FL Studio ever since FL Studio even allowed audio recording in FL Studio. So number six, a new plugin that was introduced to FL Studio 20 is a plugin called New Time. Basically to access that, you would have to double click this audio file. Then you go here, right click here, edit in Time Warper, and that brings up New Time. And as you can see, it's not perfect. It's already glitchy, buggy. I've already posted a video inside of FL Studio's forum, Image Lines forum, I should say, and they're fully aware of the issues when New Time tries to process audio that's longer than four bars. You'll notice that in all their demos for New Time, all the audio that they're processing is exactly four bars long. That's why they don't get any of the glitches. But as soon as the audio gets to eight bars or longer, that's where you start seeing these mishaps. Definitely watch my new time video. I found a workaround to fix that, but that's not even what this request is about. I would like to not have to use new time at all. I would love to be able to have new times features right here in the playlist. I don't wanna load up a plugin just to snap all these to the grid. 
I'd love to just click this drop down menu and and just have all these transients time warped to the grid. I'm just now realizing that there's the time warp sample option in this drop down menu too. So you just click that and that'll bring it up. So I didn't have to click here and then right click there. But yeah, new time inside of the piano roll would be amazing. Number seven, real time looping. So FL Studio has a mode called performance mode. You go to this drop down menu, you click here and it goes into performance mode. And performance mode pretty much allows real time looping inside of FL Studio. What my suggestion is to get rid of it entirely. One, no one's really using it, but two, there are some functions in performance mode that I feel like if we just added that simple functionality to the normal playlist, people would use the playlist a lot more often. Main thing, live looping. So it would be nice to just have this pattern right here, have this pattern right here. And just like we have looping here in the channel rack, I'd love to have looping here in the playlist where I don't have to actually physically paint all these in. I could just have this loop exactly whatever length that this is over and over again, exactly that many times, the length of whatever length that I set the playlist to. Not only would that bring more use to the the ordinary playlist mode, but I feel like people would actually use the whole performance mode aspect of FL Studio a lot more. And last but not least, number eight, just like we're able to link each of these channels to specific tracks in our mixer, it would be great to be able to do that from the playlist as well. So right now we have a new export function that allows us to export all of the tracks in our playlist as is that will turn all those playlist tracks into audio. So already we're getting a lot more functionality out of our playlist. I feel like the icing on the cake would be able to route specific tracks in the playlist to our mixer as well. That way we're almost avoiding this whole entire channel rack. Right now you could load instruments directly on these tracks. You could load audio directly on these tracks. So all we're missing is just the routing and the looping of these tracks. Maybe there are some things in FL Studio that you would like to see in version 21 that I haven't mentioned yet. I know that ImageLine definitely does watch the channel, so your comments and your likes definitely do matter. So feel free to let them know what you're looking for in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.